What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermy Wormy, and we got more anime drama going on. Uh, more localizer drama, to be more specific, going on. Because, yes, uh, the AI debacle, the AI debate, the localizer, localization debate that has been going on here in the West has yet another update. And that update is actually over here in regards to this anime. Pokadai gals are super adorable, inaccurate English sub criticized. So this is more of a minor uh, situation. This is more of these examples of more minor changes that are just uh, uh, updating it to the t using language that shouldn't be fitting in or anything like that. This is not one of these more vocalizer situations, but more more akin to things like this. Uh, I actually did a video on this. Don't toy with me, Miss Nagato Nagatoro San uh, Nagatoro. I can actually speak. Don't toy with me, Miss Nagatoro. Second attack, ADR scriptwriter, defends their use of memes and series localization. I'm a storyteller, not a robot. You had this one. Western localizer brags about deliberately botching high dives English subtitles for My Life as a Nukusan's Dog, in which they uh, change words for uh, Gairu to Bimbo and stuff like that. Over here, they have Chad and uh, ooh, no, Giga Chad and things like that. This is more akin to that, where it's not, you know, uberly political but is still inserting more modern day uh words and stuff into subtitles and everything and this is also a part of the ongoing issue that's uh, that's at hand and it's not just in the sub it's also kind of in the dub itself what uh well in the manga itself but uh, here's the example localizers are once again being criticized as some rather suspect lines have appeared in the first episode of the english subtitled version of Hako Aido gals are super adorable. Uh, I'm not even going to try to say the actual Japanese name. The first episode of the anime was recently released online in its official form with English subtitles, but certain moments stuck out for containing Western slang or odd localization choices. And you see one right here, but compared to Tokyo, isn't it like totally mid Kirikami? I mean, you know, there's your, there's one of your examples. Your other example is here. My first name. So whack. This is so whack. She's whacking down my boundaries hmm it does feel a little weird to have this in here but you know they have the actual clips themselves they're they're not that good but you come over here to what the actual uh fan sub shows you and this is obviously in the manga but you go you got ta tokyo wow coming all the way from tokyo up to the sticks well it's a family thing she seems so antsy all of a sudden oh now you're fixing to be stuck in piddling old kitty kami Oh, buh, wait, piddle an old kitty Kami, but it, it's, it shows up right here. But compared to Tokyo, isn't this lot like totally mid kitty Kami? Well, it also deals in, cause this is your fan subversion. Here it is in the actual manga as well. You moved from Tokyo to the boonies. Kitty Kami probably super naff to you then, huh? Wait, that, that doesn't seem right. You always got to realize that, and I know this is more of a lesser iteration of it. This is not something as far off as patriarchy or something as uh, detailed as, you know, this thing that I've been actually kind of, uh, I've been trying to show more people, which is going on on Crunchyroll, by the way. And, you know, I will turn on the volume real quick, but you, you have this. You just can't handle a woman's body. You two have fun at Incels Anonymous. So it's not as blatant or overt as that. It is a more of a mild criticism, but it's still a criticism nonetheless. And it is still a uh, a plentiful area in which, hey, localizers, you're, you're also inserting modern day stuff into this. This is another area of criticism that is justifiable because obvious, you know when it comes to a uh, fan sub, they're doing the best they can to get a more accurate representation of this because they actually do care about this stuff. They actually do want to put out good products they actually do want to show reference and support to these material and then you get things like this where you're like god th th this is actually kind of crap you know and you're seeing uh people pander this left right and center and i actually have to kind of agree with it you know you got the zoomers are becoming localizers some mid subtitles i'm guessing a localizer may be getting carried away on account of recent events Based on what I could find in the manga, the original Japanese is Daisei, which literally means lame. Why change that to mid? But compared to Tokyo, isn't this like totally lame, Kirikami, I mean. Perfect, perfectly fine. Lame makes perfect sense and would fit the character 
Gaiaru. I'm probably butchering that pretty pretty well too. They had to make concession effort, conscious efforts to not translate accurately to put mid as the translation as opposed to lame, which is what the word uh, I'm not going to butcher that uh kanji actually means. Mid as su a substitute for lame is in internet slang sure but did you know it was taken from aave i don't even know what that is but i'm actually with these guys here criticizing this i think this is on par with like the vocalizers and everything because this dates your product this changes it and it starts you know it's like inserting giga chad it's like uh, mistranslating a thing here in regards to uh gyru to bimbo and stuff like that and then having your localizers come out and boast about it and how proud they are yes you don't have your localizer boasting about how proud they are but th this is one of those small changes that dates your product makes it unable to be viewed later and uh kind of changes things because in the future who's going to be saying mid the way they are now mid is solely uh it is 100 internet slang this is something that you see on the internet in regards to people say hey she's lame hey this is lame whatever it it's mid that that's not modern day lingo and that's only stuff zoomers say on the internet the, the, this is not going to evolve with the times it's like i uh, trying to say uh, i can't think of a good example of this uh words that we no longer say that uh meant something completely different back in the day i can't think of something uh, but it, it dates your product is what i'm saying and it's just a continual continual downturn that we've been seeing and more examples of these localizers trying to get away with little things here and there that they really shouldn't have. I get it. Okay. It's a small thing. It's a small error. It's not that bad. You know, why, why are you complaining about it? It all adds up. It all leads back to the reason we are having this discussion and debate at the same time. The reason this is all going on is because the localizers don't care about the actual product, want to modernize it, want to put their own spin on it instead of actually giving you the correct product and the correct uh, context to everything. They want their own pieces in there. And uh, yeah, I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. Even in a small situation like this, I think it's just as, I think it's equally as bad as putting the patriarchy in a show and everything like that but i'm gonna leave it there guys let me get you guys' thoughts on all this down in the comments below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share it out friends hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell for every time i put out a new video and go live and i'll see you all on the next one bye for now